Does your car have pop-up lights that spray water on them? Adjustable electronic suspension, double din cassette player with equalizer, electronically circulating air vent, factory fitted rear pillar louvers. I'm excited to say that our 1985 Mazda HB Coupe Farm Fresh is finished. Let's check it out. So to be honest we actually got pretty lucky uh, with the motor, all I've basically had to do is um, service the vehicle, fix the leaky Welsh plug with a new Welsh plug, plugs, oil um, and fix the, fix the lower radiator uh, pipe that connects to the water pump that was rusted, um, but besides that some fresh fuel uh, another second hand alternator off the other 99 I got as the original one was overcharging, a battery and it purrs perfectly. Granted we haven't had it uh, out on the open road but it selects gears, idle the way fine. Uh, but yeah let's check out the interior. So with the interior we've done a bunch of things like fit the original head unit back in. Um, all plastics that were cracked and broken were replaced with uh, good condition ones so for example this seat base had a cracked had a cracked plastic so we replaced it um, we put a, a proper one that a proper door that doesn't fall off usually these are all gone here so we replaced that um, yeah just basically out of the three cars I try and show I out of the three cars I chose the, the sort of best stuff to go into this one uh, granted I haven't vacuumed it or anything yet, but literally just finished. But yeah, so good center console Most of them are missing this uh, This if you have a 99, you know that this lid comes off. So I've put a good one of those on um, These floor mats are from my MX-6, but they have Mazda written on them So it's, it's exactly the MX-6 was like an 88 model. This is an 85. So same sort of error um, But yeah, the interior is all pretty much put another uh, interior light plastic on everything works I couldn't be happier with uh, how it's come out but yeah let's check out the rest of it so we've basically just left the original wheels on um, 
the original to the car and I wanted this car to stay original so I've left the original wheels on just thrown some tyre shine on but nothing too much, I haven't even resurfaced the wheels, nothing I'm not painting the car, nothing, I, I love it the way it looks now and I'm just going to probably just give it a proper wash and just get some of these contaminants off from sitting around to see if I can get this paint better but it's not getting painted or anything anytime soon if we move around to the back we replaced a cracked tail light with a perfect one again if you have 929s that you know the clips in the number plate lights always break off so we've got two perfect ones on um, work around to this side you'll see from one of the earlier videos there's a massive um, surface rust patch you'll see I'll link the video up here somewhere but you see we gra ground it all back and painted it all up just to, for now um, that is one thing I probably will get sorted eventually um, how cool are these doors frameless doors that's so 80s and that noise is very 80s unfortunately with stage 4 restrictions I'm unable to take you for a test drive it's actually illegal even if I got a permit because um, you need four you can only leave for four proper reasons uh, getting food uh, working blah 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 so for me, for, uh, so for me to take you on a test drive yeah unfortunately I can't do that but as soon as restrictions ease we'll whack the cameras in there we'll take you on the test drive but with that said um, Farm Fresh is now finished and ready to uh, hit the streets this coming summer hopefully again as if restrictions ease we can start cruising again um, definitely not quick by any standards but with the factory aircon factory power steering it will make it comfortable if we want to go for a drive through the hills or or just cruise around on a Sunday so hope you guys enjoyed the series on uh, working on Farm Fresh and stay tuned for what we have next which if you're watching till the end I'll give you a sneak peek right now don't tell anyone I thought I'd better prove to you guys that the radio works. I didn't just install it for looks. Look at that. It works, but obviously due to copyright I can't play music, but um, it all works. It doesn't sound the greatest, it's still all factory paper cone speakers, but, um, but yeah, it all works. So with the electronic adjustable suspension at the moment I've got it in auto which I gather depending on your terrain adjusts the softness or hardest but you should hear the relay click when I go to soft. I don't know if you heard that dunk and then if I go to hard. So all factory 1985 electronic adjustable suspension all working all in good condition. When you sit in the cockpit you can really see in the 80s how futuristic they tried to make the cluster so this is um, my headlight switch uh, cruise control yes car has factory cruise control still working um, a little factory alarm um, and then on this side has all um, I don't know if you can see it with the on this side it has all my so on this side it has all factory uh, climate control so aircon um, yeah like how advanced is that for the 80s and then you have the uh, instrument cluster which is all electronic so let me show you so pull the choke out I'll show you guys how good this thing starts now so choke out, and this is still a cold start because all I've done is just move here and switch it off. So cold start, a couple pumps. Look at that. But you can obviously see, I'll turn that choke down a little bit. You can obviously see uh, electronic cluster. How awesome is that? Probably conk out. Huh? Look at that. Carby 2 litre built in 1985. Idling with no choke. Cold start. That's awesome. 